What up friends, we're about to venture into one of my favorite fandoms that I ever made recipes for, which is the Avatar The Last Airbender series. I made a bunch of recipes for the series earlier on last year, but I never shared the recipes for them. This time I'm going to share them with you. But before we get started with the first one, I'm gonna need you guys to know how to make this basic herbal chicken soup. Starting off with one whole chicken, you see me using two here because I always make a lot of everything. You have to essentially parboil it. This has nothing to do with safety or sanitation. This is basically all in the name of getting yourself a clear stock. Just place your chicken into a pot of boiling water and once the water has come back up to boiling temperature, take the chicken out. That's all you need to do. Once you've taken the chicken out, dump out the water that's in there, wash your pot clean, and start over with some cold tap water. And from here, just allow the water to slowly bring itself up to a simmering temperature. If it reaches a boil, that's fine, just turn it back down, but maintaining a slow, steady, and low simmering temperature is key to having a clear and rich stock. While the temperature is coming up, add your aromatics. In this, I'm using onions as well as an herb mixture. If you wanna keep it really simple, you can just put in a bunch of ginger, some scallions, and some salt, and that would be a great base for any kind of broth that you wanna use for further cooking. If you want more nuance to that previous combination, add star anise, clove, licorice root, coriander, fennel, black pepper, and jujubes. Oh, and don't forget to salt to taste, whether it be by adding regular salt or using soy sauce. Now when this pot is simmering, a few bubbles every now and then is fine. You don't want to get it up to a rolling boil though. If you get it up to a rolling boil, the water will be violent and it will shred the meat off of the chicken and you want to avoid that. You want a broth that is clear and clean. Because you're simmering at such a gentle temperature, you can leave it like this for quite a while, but at the very minimum an hour. After at least an hour has passed, you can remove the aromatics and drain it out. The chicken is not really usable at this point. The meat will be very chalky and dry and crumbly. You might be able to shred the chicken a little bit, but the texture won't be all that great and it, there will be almost no flavor left in the meat. This is a fantastic base broth to use for anything from like soups, dumplings, or noodles. In the current form, it's totally mild enough to drink as a breakfast broth keeps in the fridge for a week or airtight in the freezer for up to six months. 